family medicine. Bipolar disorder is a mental illness. The term bipolar disorder actually is used to describe a group of disorders that all share varying degrees of emotional highs and lows that can interfere with daily functioning, such as work, school, or relationships. Bipolar disorder can lead to drug abuse, hospitalization, and suicide. The emotional highs of bipolar disorder are periods of elation or irritability and high energy. These highs can range from mild form, hypomania, to a severe form, mania. People experiencing episodes of hypomania may appear energetic, excitable, and highly productive. People experiencing mania may behave impulsively or erratically. They often make poor decisions. They may have difficulty sleeping. The most severe episodes of mania can involve having very distorted beliefs or perceptions about the world and seeing or hearing things that are not real, psychotic delusions and hallucinations. The emotional lows of bipolar disorder depression also can range from mild to severe. Severe episodes of bipolar disorder depression can involve psychotic, psychotic delusions and hallucinations. Sometimes people with bipolar disorder experience a state of mixed mood. Symptoms of hypomania and mania or depression are both present during the mixed episode mood. There are signs and symptoms of the episodes of hypomania and mania as well as the episodes of depression. The signs and symptoms of hypomania and mania are similar but vary in severity. They include inflated self-esteem or feeling of increased self-confidence, Decreased need for sleep, unusual talkativeness, rapid or pressured speech, or the feeling of a need to keep talking. Sensation of racing thoughts or constant talking with quick shifts between topics that may or not be related to flight of ideas. Decreased ability to focus or concentrate, increased purposeful activity such as work, studies, or social activity, or non-productive activity, such as pacing, squirming, and fidgeting, or finger and toe tapping. Impulsive behavior and use of poor judgment resulting in high-risk activities such as having unprotected sex or spending excessive amounts of money. Signs and symptoms of depression include the following. Feelings of sadness, loneliness, and helplessness or any of the above. Frequent or uncontrollable episodes of crying, lack of feeling anything or caring about anything, Difficulty sleeping or sleeping too much. Inability to enjoy the things you used to enjoy. Desire to be alone all the time. Feelings of guilt or worthlessness. Lack of energy or motivation. Difficulty concentrating, remembering, or making decisions. Change in appetite or weight beyond normal fluctuations. Thoughts of death or the desire to harm yourself or others. Diagnosis. Bipolar disorder is diagnosed through an assessment by your caregiver. Your caregiver will ask questions about your emotional episodes. There are two main types of bipolar disorder. People with type 1 bipolar disorder have manic episodes with or without depressive episodes. People with type 2 bipolar disorder have hypomanic episodes and major depressive episodes, which are more serious than mild depression. The type of bipolar disorder you have can make an important difference in how your illness is monitored and treated. Your caregiver may ask questions about your medical history and use of alcohol or drugs, including prescription medication, certain medical conditions and substances also can cause emotional highs and lows that resemble bipolar disorder, secondary bipolar disorder. Treatment. Bipolar disorder is a long-term illness. It is best controlled with continuous treatment rather than treatment only when symptoms occur. The following treatments can be prescribed for bipolar disorders. Medication. Medication can be prescribed by a doctor that is, an ex that is an expert in treating mental disorders, psychiatrists. Medications called mood stabilizers are usually prescribed to help control the illness. Other medications are sometimes added if symptoms of many depression or psychotic delusions and hallucinations occur despite the, the use of a mood stabilizer. Talk therapy. Some forms of talk therapy are helpful in providing support, education, and guidance. A combination of medication and talk therapy is best for managing the disorder over time. A procedure in which electricity is applied to your brain through your scalp is used in cases of severe mania. When medication and talk therapy do not work, <clears throat> or work just slowly,
The information, this information, is not intended to replace advice given to you by your health care provider. Make sure you discuss any questions you have with your health care provider. Schizoaffective disorder. Now, this one. Schizoaffective disorder. you got to watch for this. Schizoaffective disorder, SCAD, is a mental illness. It causes symptoms that are a mixture of schizophrenia, a psychotic disorder, and an affective mood disorder. The schizophrenic symptoms may include delusions, hallucinations, or odd behavior. The mood symptoms may be similar to major depression or bipolar disorder. SCAD may interfere with personal relationships or normal daily activities. People with SCAD are at an increase of job loss, social isolation, physical health problems, anxiety, and substance abuse disorders, and suicide. Think of your kids. Don't think of me. Think of your kids. SCAD usually occurs in cycles. Periods of severe symptoms are followed by periods or of less severe symptoms or improvement. The illness affects men and women equally, but usually appears at an earlier age, teenage or early adult years in men. People who have family members with schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or SCAD are at a higher risk of developing SCAD. Symptoms. At any one time, people with SCAD may have psychotic symptoms only or both psychotic and mood symptoms. The psychotic symptoms include one or more of the following. Hearing, seeing, or feeling things that are not there. Hallucinations. Having fixed false beliefs or delusions. The delusions usually of are being, you know, being attacked, harassed, cheated, persecuted, or conspired against. Paranoid delusions. Speaking in a way that makes no sense to others. Disorganized speech. The psychotic symptoms of SCAD may also include confusing or odd behavior or any of the negative symptoms of schizophrenia. These include loss of motivation for daily normal activities such as bathing or grooming, withdrawal from other people, and lack of emotions. The mood symptoms of SCAD occur more often than not. They resemble major depressive order or bipolar mania. Symptoms of major depressive include met depressed mood and four or more of the following. Loss of interest in usually pleasurable activities, anhedonia. Sleeping more or less than normal, feeling worthless or excessively guilty, lack of energy or motivation, trouble concentrating, eating more or less than usual, thinking about death or suicide. I ran out of fingers. Symptoms of bipolar mania include abnormally elevated or irritable mood and increased energy activity, plus three or more of the following. More confidence than normal or feeling that you're able to do anything. Grandiosity. Sometimes we all suffer from that. I know that I have suffered immensely from that. HNIC. Feeling rested with less sleep than normal. Being, e being easily distracted. Talking more than usual. Or feeling pressured to keep talking. <laughs> I'll talk your ear off if you let me. Feeling that, your thoughts are race feeling that your thoughts are racing. Engaging in high-risk activities such as buying sprees or foolish business decisions. Has anyone made those mistakes? I'm still looking for work. Diagnosis. SCAD is diagnosed through an assessment by your health care provider. Your health care provider will observe and ask questions about your thoughts, behavior, mood, and your ability to function in daily life. Your health care provider may also ask questions about your medical history and use of drugs, including prescription medicines. Your health care provider may also order blood tests and imaging exams. This is neuroscience, folks. Hey, they fiber optics, silly rabbit tricks of the kids. Certain medical conditions and substances can cause symptoms that resemble SCAD. Your health care provider may refer you to a mental health specialist for evaluation. Does anybody still want to beat me up? SCAD is divided into two parts, two types, I should say. The depressive type is diagnosed if your mood symptoms are limited to major depression. The bipolar type is diagnosed if your mood symptoms are manic or a mixture of manic and depressive symptoms. Treatment. SCAD is usually a lifelong illness. Long-term treatment is necessary. Thanks for all your help. The following treatments are available. Medicine. Different types of medicine are used to treat SCAD. The SCAD, com the exact combination depends on the type and severity of your symptoms. Antipsychotic -psych medication is used to control psychotic symptoms such as delusions, paranoia, and hallucinations. Mood stabilizers can even have the highest, can even 
the highs and lows of bipolar manic mood swings. Antidepressant medicines are used to treat major depressive symptoms. Counseling or talk therapy, individual group or family counseling may be helpful in providing education, support, and guidance. Many people with ASCAD also benefit from social skills and job skills, vocational training. And let me tell you, it's worked wonders with my children. It really has. Um, in the workforce, getting them in the workforce, interacting with their, with their peers, has, has uh, their leaps and bounds above where they were. And I'm to blame for that. Home care instructions take all med your medication and prescribed. Check with your health care provider before starting your medic prescription or over-the-counter medications. Keep all follow-up appointments with your health care provider. And I would recommend highly talking to my sister. Seek medical care at Hackensack University Medical Center or um, Carrier Clinic in Bellmead, New Jersey, if you're interested in any of this uh, aftercare uh, stuff that um, I'm talking about. Anyway, they're in the yellow pages. Seek medical care if you are not able to take your medicines as prescribed, if your symptoms get worse. Seek medical care if you have serious thoughts about hurting yourselves or hurting someone else. Seriously, guys, girls. Seek medical care if you have serious thoughts about hurting yourself or hurting anybody else. Right? I mean, doesn't that go without saying? So on that note, I will hit this little button over here, and then I'll just move on to the next subject, which just so happens to be sitting right behind me, actually. Let me see if this wire can reach. I may have to take off this headset. Ugh. I dropped the book. All right, so... Speaking of SCAD, you know, there are other avenues you can explore other than research, researching your, uh, your, your shortcomings. If you, if you find in life that you're suffering from these illnesses, which have many different reasons why uh, you develop them in the first place. And a lot of it has to do with, uh, with uh, social disorders today. Not only um, the external stressors that these children are going through, just like we did when we were growing up. I just hope, you know, that, that we've grown up. That's all. I hope that we've grown up or else. <laughs>